morning everybody, it's Christian from Swing Education with the four majors analysis update for the 16th of March 2011. Going to be starting with the euro. Going to pull up. A lot of action yesterday. We saw a lot of downside movement to start with during the course of the morning. And then as we rose into the US session, the pair was able to take back all what it lost the previous day. Which is a good sign because this pair has been forming high highs as time has gone on and what we've seen is price now literally sitting on the 1400 mark which is price resistance okay so what we need to see is the Asian market or the US of uh, European session open break higher than that and close higher for us to see further extensions to the upside okay CTC is blue on this level if we go into home today, you'll notice that we see a lot of uh, indecision on the CTC primarily because we're now headbutting the 1400 mark on a daily time frame. And we won't see that change until we actually see a break and close higher than 1400. At least 1405 would be great. We wouldn't even get stuck in this, this wick form, uh, this piercing formation we saw on the 7th, I think it was. Yes. Okay, so as things stand. You go to a four hour for example you can see indecision and then as we speak there's a decision candle to the upside as long as these swings the next swing is higher then we could definitely see 1400 being breached and ideally you want to be seeing price close and be trading higher than at least 1403.50 to 30 pips away from that entry so you might find on a smaller time frame you might want to scalp pips to that but we don't want to be faked into it so the longer it stays above 1400 this morning during the European session the, lo uh, the, the better the probability that we can see for the extension during the US session so we go to our 50 minute for example we know that 1400 is the strong resistance level in the past we need to see a break and close higher than that be aware that we had a fake out that took it took us up to roughly the 14 or 11 or 12 mark the trading higher than that would definitely be confirmation of further extensions to the upside notice that we have upswings as price is moving up so this is all good so I don't know if you want to then you'll notice in the Asian session lower swings low 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 squeeze breakout pullback continuation so there might be some movement to the upside for now until we hit 1400 and then possibly a reversal or we'd like to see a breakout um pullback and then continuation further okay that's it on euro i'll see you next with the sterling against the us dollar okay the next pair we're looking at is sterling against us dollar just looking at the daily time frame you're gonna notice that the pair literally fell well below the 1600 mark yesterday in trading. Sterling lost a lot of ground to begin with against the US counterpart. Taking back everything it made the past two days. And by doing so, we literally saw the swing, initial swing, prior swing, actually proving quite strong. And the 1600 which was going to be tested again and so it was but as the US session crept in and we saw the day pass on then we saw the momentum switch and we saw the pair able to pull back slightly slightly higher than the open of yesterday's candle sorry the day before apologies now in the Asian session we've had a very small trading range and we're now sitting pretty much at a support area literally prior support area there we go this little this is a support area at 1605 if I'm not mistaken yeah 1606 now for this pair to still remain bullish obviously the 50 period needs to be below it below price that is and we need to see 1605 being the support area for the remainder of this morning session or going into the US session at least seeing these wicks 
So we're going to push higher. Otherwise, this intermediate trend is going to be far too strong. So it's going to push a pair closer to 1600. And then we might see a breach lower of 1600 going into the US session or tomorrow. Intraday, we can see on a 4 hour, for example, the swing lows after we hit that high. Exhaustion candle, another one. So CTC is negative. Same goes for the hourly. Swings are lower. This one over here, however, is now in breach of that trend. It's now closed. It needs to stay higher. And 16.05 is the point I mentioned. It needs to stay above at least price support. So it's looking good for this. However, the 20 period moving average and the 50 are still above it. There is a swing high. So ideally, you want to have at least three. But price is now in this area where it needs to find a support area. It's going to do a fib projection just in case. 38.8. These are the extensions to the upside. 100 would take us back to prior resistance or highs. Okay, so price needs to bounce off that now to the upside. Are we getting that on 30 minutes? Not at the moment. CTC is still red. 50 minutes. Candles have gone blue, but the CTC is still red. So just be aware that price action is still negative. We want to see a definite change in color on the CTC to confirm that. However, the longer it stays above 1605, which is the point I told you on a daily that it needs to stay above in order to be considered bullish for the remainder of the day, then we're looking at those levels as potential support errors. Okay. So keep that in mind. That's it for Sterling against US dollar. I'll be back next with the US dollar against the Swiss franc. Okay, in front of me is the US dollar against the Swiss franc. This pair is moving lower after failing to break higher than its previous low point or swing that it occurred at 935. We saw price pull back for a number of days, weeks. High, 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 and then bang straight into the 20 period, which was also in conjunction with the 935 area. And we've seen price revert to the downside because of that. And now this pair is trading at an all time low. And if I could show you where price is relative to the previous bounce, then you can see we're actually testing it now. So it needs to close lower than that. Ideally, we see further extensions to the downside. Otherwise, we're just going to see consolidation sideways. So, got to be closing lower than at least 915. 9.13. 9.13 at least. Breakout, fallback, and continuation. Notice that this swing over here now is formed. That. So, it's got to break higher. And 925 obviously break higher than all this mess over here. So a lot of, it's got to do a lot of work in order to get bullish again. Okay. Let's have a look at different time frames. You can see the wicks. And say a 15 minute candle. Getting upside moving, but slightly sideways, very indecisive. Price, however, is still trading negative. Okay, guys, we need to be aware of that. It's so important. We don't want to suck it in. Notice that the trend is still negative. It's got to do a lot of work. You've got the Asian here. We've got another Asian high here. So ideally, it wants to be trading above at least this range at 9195 in order for us to even contemplate going up. Okay. But we're aware on the 30 minute, we have the 50 period moving average acting as a real resistance level for this pair. You can see that really governing price movements to the downside. So it's got to break not only the 9.5 I mentioned. And by doing so, it'll be trading on the upper, upper side of the 50 period moving average and above previous resistance levels. In fact, by doing so, then we could definitely see further extensions to the upside because of that, or pullback at least. Okay, that's the against that's the US dollar against Swiss franc. I'll be back 
I'll be back next with the US dollar against Japanese yen. Take care. Okay, the last pair today is the US dollar against Japanese yen. And you can see how pair has broken lower. Is now testing or well, moving towards a prior low here at 80.5 at least. So what next for this pair? Well, there's talk that 80, which was not seen since 1995, being a possible target overall for this pair. You'll notice that we had a very indecisive candle prior to yesterday's move. And because it closed lower, then we should have looked in for opportunities to go further south. And sure enough, we got that very bearish candle yesterday. And this morning on the Asian market session, we've seen a slight pullback. It's failed to, to trade lower than 80.70. Let me just put that here. Yeah. So a little support here I found. So it's got a breach 80.70 going into the US session today to see further downside movement. However, we could see possible pullback to at least 50% of this initial the back previous candle and then revert back down to the downside. Okay, so you can see on a 30 minute, for example, the breakout and consolidation. There we go. Swing highs. It's moving and we have the resistance level above us. So going into a squeezing pattern, some sort of holding pattern. Top end of this channel. 50 pair of moving averages now coming into play. It's moved off a prior bounce to the upside. Be aware the 50 pair of moving average is going to be the first resistance level it's going to meet. And if I can just draw a line and scale it and bring it down. 80.95 has been the ceiling level before so it's got to break not only 80.95 plus this 50 period in order to even think about seeing price actually tra testing the prior high at 81.15 or 81.20 at least for this morning okay but as long as we see these swing highs then there's a good opportunity we might see further up but however to to really see a change in market sentiment we need to see price trading above this trend line on this time frame so if I Put this in, you can see that for the 15 minutes, you need to be trading well above 8120 or 8130 in this case to be considered bullish. Okay, otherwise, what we're going to see is price moving sideways and head butting this trend line and then reverting to the downside because CTC is still negative for this pair. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Hope you have a fantastic trading day. Keep your trading simple, stick to the rules. When the pips present themselves, take them always trade what you see on the chart make sure your CTC is following the rules and most importantly trade serenely